Welcome back to another video. Today we have the Wacky Me. Yes, that's the name. Wacky Me. <laughs> Weird. A Wacky Me 21 volt max cordless impact wrench, half an inch brushless compact wrench with power toolkit. That's the description they had. With two 4 amp hour batteries and seven piece driver impact sockets. Fast charger, belt clip, toolbox and 250 foot pounds of torque all right so this is the the model number i guess they have x002 l3 f j and x and big shout out to uh wacky me <laughs> big shout out to wacky me for sending out this um impact wrench uh they want they they reached out to me and they asked me to see if i would do a review for them uh, sure I can, you know, obviously use another impact wrench to compare it to other ones. Don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing here. The like, you need the bell icon so we can buy more tools like this. Make more to review videos. That's the way to reverse the platform by subscribing and likes. So help out the channel by doing so. Oh, and another thing, Wacky Me is not paying me for this review. They just sent me the item to test, see if it works or see if it doesn't work. They're kind of they're plastic guys so they're, they don't feel like they're gonna last forever but I'm, I mean they're okay um, the handle feels pretty solid all right here's a box Let me see here the back nothing all right here's the box when you open it you got the instruction manual here you have the sockets on this side we do have two sockets Let's change vending so it's chrome probably chrome vanadium steel I'll double check and if, they, if it's another material I'll put it in the pretty heavy duty they feel they have a nice weight to it uh, they got some nice uh, thick walls All right, so you got a back here with sockets we got 17 18 19 it's hard to see 19 20 21 22 and 24 the next thing we got the battery here it says 21 volts lit uh lion four amp hour battery you got a lock here nice lock uh it says lion battery pack uh reduce risk of injury all right so no fuel gauge on this all right we got a second battery here no fuel again no fuel gauge all right, we got a charger. So we got, I guess red means it's charging and green means it's already solid green. It's 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 already charged. Got three ports here or three different connectors. You do got some in this indentations there. So you guys could put this on your garage. This is Lion Charger model number ADLI24B. It says input 100 volts, 200 volts, 50 hertz. Output um, 36 volts. Uh, 18 to 36 volts 1.5 amps we got some tool accessories here like a drill accessory where you can turn it you can put your drill here and you can put your bit here got a nice clip here I don't know what this is for all right and then we got um, a ring here not clear exactly what these are for all right so you got the tool itself Feels pretty nice. Feels pretty nice actually. Not too bad. It, the, all this is rubber. This red is plastic. Uh, so you got the Wacky Me here, and then you got the. This is uh, plastic. You got Wacky Me model number 54Y, 0 to 2400 per minute, revolutions per minute. And then you got 330 newton meters. It does have some nice rubber stops. This is the side. Yeah. Uh, you got two connectors there positive and negative my guess uh, you do have a work light here and the most important part is this you got a half an inch socket adapter and you got a hex wow you got a hex and an impact see this is now every every uh, manufacturer should think of this you can use something like this see you can use stick it in there yep 
you can even stick it in there and use this as an impact wrench or impact driver so let's put one of these in there see this is what we're going to be use this, using this for all right so if it's pretty good Yeah, it fits pretty nice and tight. All right, I got another impact socket here. All right, so it fits perfectly. All right, so they fit a little tight, but they do fit pretty good. I'll try these batteries, see what this tool sounds like. That's the way the tool looks. And then again, this is a primary, what this is good tool is going to be used for is the impact um, impact wrench or impact uh, side of it, which is the, the half an inch anvil. It's not going to be used. Uh, this is just for extra, I guess. Got some nice, got some nice vents here. Really nice vents. A lot of air movement. Same thing with here. You got a lot of air movements. All right, let's test this outside. See what this uh, sounds like or what this works outside. And uh, we'll see if we go from All right. So we got um, we got the fuel gauge here, three lights. This is low and high. You got auto stop on and off. So you can turn it on off with this or on with that. You got a light there. Um, once you turn it on, it stops by itself. Trigger still pressed. Um, otherwise, it, 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 it runs on maximum speed. When you put it on forward, you can put low and high speed. When you put it on reverse, you can put on the auto stop feature. That's a really nice, clever thing to have, and you do have the fuel gauge here on the left. All right, so let's take this off. Let's try it with the auto stop on. Let's take this off. So that's it. Let's put the auto stop on. See, it stops. All right, let's put this back on. Let's do 100 foot pounds. Let's do 100 foot pounds of torque. This is a regular car, basically. And we're gonna try with the auto stop on. So we're gonna just, just pretend this is a luck nut. Yep, it stopped. We're gonna, it's set at 130 pounds. That's pretty much what you're gonna be using on a truck, a full size F-150 or a, a 1500 uh, Chevy. Alright, so 129 pounds. Like I said, this is what we're going to be using on a bigger truck, a 1500 half a ton truck. Alright, so we put clear. Let's take this to 150 pounds. Right, just about there, 150 pounds. All right, so 151 pounds. All right, let's take this off on the auto mode. 
No problem. Around 200 pounds. It's 200 pounds. Two hundred pounds. Let's see if this two will do two hundred pounds. It did it, guys. So definitely check it out guys. I think it's worth it. Um, you're getting double feature on this thing. Uh, let's let's tie this up and see how many foot pounds this will tie up. Let's try it on speed on high. Take this off. All right, so this was able to do it 151 pounds. 151 pounds. That's plenty of what you're going to be needing for a mid torque like this. So definitely check it out. 't forget to help out the channel by subscribing, hitting the like hitting the bell icon so we can buy more tools like this. make sure to review videos. That's the way to reverse the platform by subscribers and likes. and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.